for 7200 find sum and number of factors divisible by 25 and sum and number of factors divisible by 40. So before solving it, let us first of all write down sum of all the factors of 7200. Sum of sum of all the factors of 7200 will be equal to let us start with the minimum possible power of 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 square and we'll take it to the maximum power of 2 available here that is 2 to the power 5 this thing multiplied by 3 to the power 0 plus 3 to the power 1 plus 3 square and 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1 plus let me shift the screen a bit plus 5 square so this is sum of all the factors when i'll multiply them each term will represent one of the factors of 7200 and all these things multiplied together will give me sum of all the factors of 7200 but now we are asked to find only those factors sum of only those factors which are divisible by 25 now how can i get a 25 if i'll have at least two fives five times five if i'll have two fives i can get a 25 so all the terms which will have 5 square 5 square in it and sum of all such terms will give me all those factors of 7200 which are divisible by 25 but in this expression how can i be assured that all the terms contain a 5 square so what i'll do i'll just remove the remaining this 5 to the power 0 it makes no sense because i need at least a 5 square so i'll just remove this 5 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 1 because for 25 i need at least two fives so even this won't count so i'll just have a 5 square 5 square now when i'll multiply all of them all the terms will have 5 square in it for sure and the sum will give me the sum of all the factors that are divisible by 25. This thing we can calculate easily. I just wanted to show you how we can come to the conclusion that how we can find the sum of the, all the factors that are divisible by 25. Secondly, we are asked to find the number of such factors. Now, all the terms that we ha will have here, all the total number of terms present in this expression will represent each of the terms will represent an individual factor of 7200 which is divisible by 25 so what we can do here we can just find the total number of terms present in this expression so for each term to be built from this expression i have to take i have to take at least one term from this part so here i have total six terms so i'll just pick one from this pick any one from this 3c1 and we have to take this we have to always consider this so just one possibility so total number of terms present here six times three times one that is 18 so there will be 18 such factors which will be divisible by 25 and we know how can we find the sum of those factors by just finding the value of this thing and this thing and this thing and multiplying them all together now what can be said about 40 now for 40 for 40, I can write it as 4 times 10, which is equal to 2 square times 2 to 2 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 2 to the power 5, uh, sorry, not 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 3 times 5. This will give me 40 because this is the prime factorization of 40, 8 fives of 40. So in order to get 40, I need at least 3 2s and 1 5 then only i can get a factor which is a multiple of 40 so let me write the initial total number of factors sum of all the factors which will be equal to 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1 plus 5 square this will represent the total number of fact uh, sum of total number of factors of 7200 now i now i want that all the terms should contain three twos at least three twos and one five because if any term will have two to the power four and let's say two fives then this term will always live obviously be divisible by 40 because it already has three twos and one five so at least that's why i'm saying at least a term should have this thing in it so how can we make sure that we have this thing in our, all the terms so i'll just remove all the terms which have lesser number of twos this thing okay so now i have now i have at least 
three twos in this three terms and I need at least one five. So what I'll do, I'll just remove this five to the power zero from here. Say, okay. Now when I'll multiply them, all the terms will have at least three twos and at least one five. So now the value of this expression when multiplied together will give me sum of all the factors that are divisible by 40. And how many such factors will be possible? So for that, I can just multiply this three times three. We have three terms here and a two. We have two terms here. So three times three is nine. Nine times two is 18. Again, there will be 18 such factors which will be divisible by 40.